Welcome to this very special Reiki healing session entitled A Reiki Treatment Inside the King's Chamber. What makes this particular session very special is that we have an audio track of people chanting inside the King's Chamber. We also have a audio track in the background with the sound frequency associated with the frequency of the king's chamber. So both of these will be in the background. I'm sure you will find the added pleasure. We did a few tests where we had one track had the king's chamber music and chanting and frequency and another track did not. Everything else in the two tracks were the same. The only thing was one had the added benefits of the King's Chamber. People notice the difference. We hope you will too. We do expect that you will. All right. Now, as with all sessions, make sure you're not driving. You're not going to be disturbed. Even though it is a Reiki session, it's a Reiki healing session. And I believe should be treated as if it was a hypnosis session because you do go into altered states. So you want to be comfortable and relaxed. We also recommend that you have a conducive healing space. You can be sitting or lying down. Either one's okay. Whatever works best for you. I'm going to give you a few tips on how to enhance the quality of your sessions. One is... Definitely have a peaceful, quiet place if you can. Two is dim the lights. Make sure everything's comfortable temperature-wise. Turn off the phones and buzzes. Eliminate distractions as much as possible. And three, let any noises remind you that life goes on. Life's going to go on whether you're taking this time out for yourself or not. So when you hear the noises, that just reminds you, Hey, life's going on. People can live. They don't need me for this hour. They're good. And for should they actually need you, you can come out of your session easily and comfortably and just reorientate yourself. And lastly, uh, one of the things that really helps people is they create a sacred space or a healing space in their homes or in their lives where they're going to do the sessions. Now, when I grew up, my grandmother had a little prayer area, and we were laughing and playing, cooking, doing laundry, all this stuff, and she had a chair in the corner of one of the rooms. She pulled out her rosary beads, and she would do her prayer in the midst of everything going on around her. And we knew that that's what she was doing. She's going into her prayer time. Her body, her psyche, her unconscious mind also knew. She tried to keep it in the morning and at night. Times would vary as life dictated. But her psyche, her mental being, her essence knew. All right, she's gathering herself up. She's going into her prayer time. A lot of folks for the healing in Reiki, same thing. You have a space. If it's a similar spot, your body will acclimate to it. If the time's similar, again, your body acclimates. You're sending signals to your mind and your psyche that it is time. And it already has a degree of being acclimated to going into the healing space that it can just tap into real quickly. Think about it with a lot of hypnotists. They go, each time you go into trance, it'll be easier and easier, and you'll drop deep down much quicker and quicker the more you go in. This is an entrainment. Your brain has neural pathways, and the more you use them, the stronger they get and the easier it is to get into a place. Same thing, create your sacred space. I like to have a place that's quiet. I have some decorations. I have the Himalayan salt lamps. I have a candle. So whatever works for you, Eliminate distractions as much as possible. Routine is very, very key. And just make your space conducive for healing for you. All right. So get yourself ready. And I'll meet you when 
we prepare the session. So again, sorry, this is going to be a journey to the King's Chamber of the Great Pyramid. So if you have any pictures of the King's Pyramid, the King's Chamber of the Great Pyramid, bring them along. And if you have any Egyptian incense or symbols or anything you think would be really cool, bring them along. And also, a lot of people like to write their prayer request on a piece of paper. So have in mind what you hear for your healing. See you soon.